Aaron here from Honda Pilot Overland. Today we're gonna raise the air intake on my Pilot. I think I've come up with a pretty creative solution that might help some other piloteers out. Today we're gonna start with part one of the install. I'd love to hear your feedback on whether you think this modification is gonna work or if I'm just being stupid. So I've ordered a Spectra cone air filter. This is a three inch cone air filter. Um, as you'll find out later in this video, I think it'd be better to order the three and a half inch for this modification, but I was able to uh, adapt it to work. And then this is a filter wrap. It's supposed to just cover the filter and try to keep some of the dirt and stuff off of it. For this experiment, I decided it was worth uh, the extra bucks to give that a try. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the air fil the uh, cone filter straight into the stock uh, air intake here. And we are going to pull this uh, filter housing off. Eventually what I'd like to do is modify the filter housing to hopefully hold the cone filter inside. Uh, if you pay attention to the direction that the mud and splashing comes from, it looks like it probably comes up into the engine bay and then down and hits the top of here on the, uh, the cover. Um, compared to uh, this side on the pulley side, you can see the top is just covered in mud. Um, so if my air intake was on that side, I don't think this mod would be a good idea at all. But this side over where the air intake is, is significantly cleaner. It just has some miscellaneous, you know, spurts of mud here and there. Um, in the end, what I'd like to do is actually uh, cut holes on this side um, to allow the air to come in mostly off of this side. Um, let me go ahead and take the top of the air intake off here. So I've uh, already taken the bolts out on my pilot. Several of them had uh, stripped. So they're kind of just miscellaneous parts holding it together. That's kind of what I'm talking about. So, so these two nuts right here are the originals. On this side, right here and right here, they're out. So I basically just have a nut and bolt that I hold as I put it back together. This is really thick you know, plastic here. Um, so when I go to modify it, it'll be really interesting to see how hard it is to cut. I'm planning on picking up another one of these filter housing tops from the salvage yard. That way I can undo this modification. The whole, the goal is to have this uh, to where I can return it back to stock. So this air filter looks really awesome. It's uh, very well reviewed. <clears throat> so now you can see my modification I made. I basically just added a bunch of Gorilla Tape, duct tape, to the bottom of this uh, to make it have a tighter fit in the stock air housing. Um, I am concerned about this getting sucked into the motor. That would really be unfortunate. Uh, the way it's held on here and the way it clamp, the clamp clamps down on it, I really don't see that happening. But yeah, like I said, I'd recommend going with a bigger air housing than this. The uh, three and a half inch I think would fit perfectly into the end of the air intake. So I didn't have a big enough hose clamp. So this is my uh, double hose clamp. I just put two together. So we will push this into here. Has a nice snug fit. Oh, gotta remember to put the hose clamp on first. So now the hose clamp's on. Slide it, this into here. One of the things I kind of have to see, I'm going to have to cut some of the housing down right here to get this to kind of slide down. I'm going to have to cut out a large portion of the top here. <clears throat> the idea is that I want to make like a, a rain and uh, a splash and rain guard here. Um, online, it's really hard to tell whether this is super susceptible to getting splashed and having it, you know, uh, either suffocate the motor or you know suck in water um, a lot of people you know online with off-roading trucks and stuff they say that a cold air intake type intake like this I know it's not a cold air intake uh, that it's uh, putting your motor at more risk of getting water in um, with the engine bay the way it is with all this hard you know solid stuff below it I really don't see the water splashing up in you know onto this this intake um that often and 
it is significantly higher than the stock air intake, which is down again. It's below the it's below the headlight, right about here. So I would say it's definitely like six inches higher, at least, probably closer to a foot. Let's go ahead and button this up. Put the little uh, cover over it as well. This thing kind of makes it look silly. Um, if it wasn't for my hose clamps looking so wonky, this would actually look pretty cool. But I was curious to see, you know, how much mud this gets on it. Um, and it helps make it a little bit more water resistant from what I understand. So I'm gonna run with this mod just like this for a little while, see if I like the performance that it gives. Um, and I'm gonna, you know, keep you guys in the loop. I don't expect any, you know, engine Im improvements. I know it's gonna be a little bit louder. That I'll probably hear the air intake a little bit more. But really what I'm after is raising my air intake. Um, on my vehicle, I really don't ever want to have the water above the sill, ideally. I don't want it, you know, coming much higher than this. Um, and when you have it up to that height, I don't know, the stock air intake's just kind of low. I think that raising the air intake to this level will probably be just enough for me. If I can get some sort of uh, protective cover over the top that kind of forces, you know, uh, air in from the side, that would be awesome. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about this modification. Um, please give me your feedback. Let me know if I'm being an idiot, if I'm about to destroy my pilot. I think as of right now, this is the cheapest way to raise my air intake up closer to the hood. All in all, this costs about 40 bucks. So uh, that's a win so far in my book. So I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more pilot content. And uh, thank you so much for your uh, feedback. Oh,